Georgia Department of Public Health confirmed the first case of E. coli in the state from contaminated lettuce this week. But how can you be sure the lettuce you buy isn't going to get you sick? Courtney Giacobazzi spoke to a local business to try and get the answer. Harp and Bowl Bistro in Macon continues on its usual grind. It, it has. It's been smooth sailing. Unaffected by the romaine lettuce contamination. We do local foods. They know our produce, so they know that we keep a real close check on all of our foods. Food that owner Charlotte Etheridge personally picks. I go to the DeKalb market and buy most of our vegetables and everything because I can pick them fresh and I know where they come from. They're all labeled. So she can keep the green light on her green smoothies. But if you need more than salad in a glass, what you need to do is look locally. Saw in the national news, uh, they warned people from buying lettuce unless you knew where it comes from. The CDC suggests throwing away lettuce if you don't know where it was grown. Mariah Lavender, the owner of Ingleside Village Market, says that's not a problem for them. We can tell you exactly where your produce came from. Um, the individual farms may have labels on it like Babe and Sage Farm and Gordon. They put these nice labels with their logo on it or we may put a label on it like the Little Farm in Gray, Georgia or Vesterfield Farm in Cochrane. Those labels led to higher profit. We've certainly seen an uptick in interest about the lettuces and how they're grown and when they're so beautiful you can't help but want to eat them. And you can do so without worry, thanks to local Georgia farmers. In Macon, Courtney Jacobazzi, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Lavender says the local farmers deliver fresh produce to her market on Ingleside Avenue every Wednesday.